What up guys, it's Banana Owns here bringing you part 74 of my Skyward Sword Let's Play. And in this video we are going to start the boss rush mode, which is going to be very cool and it's going to take a pretty long time. In the next two episodes, well, this one and then the next one. So it will be two episodes chron chronicling boss rush mode. So we're going to do the first four boss battles and then do the last four. Okay, so for some editing choices, uh, I didn't record the gameplay for getting the heart piece. I just well, recorded the uh, actual getting of the heart piece. So I didn't record the boss battles to get the heart piece. So that's at the end of the video. That's thrown at the end of the video of me getting the heart piece, but uh, the gameplay here is from my eight, uh, my eight boss run. So basically, there's going to be four boss battles and yeah, it's going to be kind of, it's all everything you've already seen before, but there's a timer and you gotta do them all right in the row, and it's really difficult. So, what I really recommend is starting with uh, the Girihim boss fight, the, the Fire Sanctuary one, the second one in particular, because it is a one of the more difficult boss battles, and there's no uh, hearts at all in this arena, so you want to get this one done out of the way, because you can kind of abuse the system in the, the other uh, boss battles in order to regain some health. But I really enjoy boss rush mode. I just there's no incentive for me to do all what 12 of them in a row or something like that. Yeah, once you if you do hero mode, you can Yeah, once once you do hero mode, I think you can uh get all the boss battles of the game. So hold on, I, I was just trying to my my Wemo is acting up a lot during this uh boss during this boss rush mode. I I just I managed to pull through, but it was really difficult aiming actually. But this boss rush mode is really fucking cool. I really enjoyed it. I just it's so much fun just seeing how good you are at killing some of these bosses, and especially during this uh, during this eight run, this eight boss run. I, I got some of the ones that take a, a little bit longer to, to take out, but oh well, you know, where can you do? It's it's worth it for the shield and the heart piece. But I kind of it sucks because in order to get the shield, you have to do eight in a row. In order to get the heart piece, you have to do four. But you can't get them both at the same time, but... Oh, whatever. So I don't know what, like, the actual... Uh... The reward is for doing all of the... I think 12 battles in a row... Are... Hold on, let me, let me look this up right now. Let's hear, let's, let's look up the rewards right now. I want one here. This is a very long video. <laughs> but, uh, I'm... I fucking fuck up Girahim. He is not a very good person. I just really just fuck him up. Oop, there, there's the backflip. There we go. I, I think he launches... Okay, here we go. So, I didn't know this, but when he launches the little pendulum things, they do damage to him. If you get them all back, I, I believe. Or, there we go. Yeah, so that was cool. So, there's one bottle, boss battle done. Three more to go for this video, and then... So, so basically, seven more to go. Okay, so for the boss rush mode... Okay, so here's what happens. So for the first one, you have the option of getting 20 rupees. For the second one, you have the option of getting a small treasure. For the third one, you have the option of getting 100 rupees. Uh, for the fourth one, you have the option of getting a heart piece. And then if you already get the heart piece, it's 200 rupees. And then the fifth one is 300 rupees. The uh, sixth one is rare treasure. The seventh one is 500 rupees. The eighth one is the Hylian shield. And then, if you do it a second time, it's a thousand rupees. The ninth one is two thousand rupees. The tenth one is three rare treasures. The eleventh one is three thousand rupees, and the twelfth one is nine thousand nine hundred rupees. Which is you need the uh, the the mo fully upgraded wall in order to get them because uh, that last one is a fucking lot. Okay, so. Here was an imprisoned boss battle, and this one is really, really easy. Hold on, I don't. Again, it's just take out the toes. We've already done this three times. It's the first one, so it, again, it's just really, really easy. Especially now you have an upgraded sword that does damage, so you can take out his toes in like one hit each. And what's also cool is uh, you can. It's a, when you fight each boss for the first time, he gives you 50 rupees. So you can get a lot of money off of doing this boss rush mode. So it manages. Damn. 
like that. Damn, this is kind of... It takes it takes a long time. It's, it's very challenging, it, but I'm doing it in normal mode, not hero mode, so... I'm not really, not really worrying about that one right now. So, I think, uh... Uh, w what is it? Uh, I think there's 12 fights you can do, but you need to do hero mode for like the last three. I think uh, was it the Bokoblin Horde, uh, the last gear you can fight, and then the final boss fight. You can't get until you do hero mode and make your baby back here doing like your second playthrough. So that kind of sucks, but I think like a really good strategy that I read up on <laughs> after I did this. As you see, as you notice, you can't use your pouch items at all, except for your shield. So you can't use any potions, so you have to be, be really fucking good or just really crafty. So if you take, like, a, a a guard potion plus or something like that, right before you talk to the Thunder Dragon, the effects will last three minutes into battle. And if you have a potion medal in your adventure pouch when you talk to the Thunder Dragon, they last nine minutes. So, like, you can get some souped-up abilities at the very beginning, which is really cool. And it can help out, especially like if you have a very difficult time taking out a certain boss. So you can start off with that one with the extra potion effects. So, yeah, so that's really, really cool. But I don't really do any of those like cool strategies. I just show up, you know, and hope for the best. And I do really well, actually. I, I'm kind of disappointed in myself getting a hit by the Imprison uh, like, a, like a minute back. Because this is a e very easy boss fight, and you shouldn't have too much trouble. In fact, most most of the boss fights in this game are really easy. <laughs> so another cool little pro tip is that if you use your Skyward Strike, which charges really fast for this first imprisoned boss battle, you can take out all the toes like from really far away. So that's another pro tip right there from Banana Owns, showing off my MLG status. But okay, so we have the imprisoned down and. You know, third time's a charm in these Zelda games, you know, the rule of three. So, he is done, he is my bitch, and that's basically it, because... Let's see here, we're gonna... There, there's finished, 2 minutes 15 seconds. Not bad, not bad, not, not the greatest one, though. Not the greatest run. I think my... Uh, my second time through, I got lucky enough that I had to fight him again. And this time... He, I took him out like in a, like a minute and like 40 seconds or something like that. Something really, like way better. <laughs> so that's how I roll. And yeah, it's, again, pretty fucking cool. I really love boss rush mode. It's, it's really interesting fighting these bosses again, seeing like your new strategies and especially seeing uh, how your, uh, your weapon upgrade, especially your sword, because your sword gets a bit of a damage boost in between some like some of the earlier bosses go down really really quickly and uh so yeah i think this third one i get really unlucky again for number three i have to fight the uh, the imprisoned again i think the the second form like right away and it's kind of bullshit kind of sucks but the imprisoned boss fights aren't necessarily that difficult and i think this is the second one as you can see our handy dandy skyward strike one hit doesn't really work now so that really sucks but if you just follow the, your normal strategies and just make sure you take out one foot and then you can focus on uh, hitting the sealed stake and then make sure to use uh, the grucinator when you can because that's a that's a really fucking good idea <laughs> so again he climbs up we, you've, if you've been watching this all all the way you've, you've been already seeing this like totally <laughs> you already know how like the strategies and know how I fare so it's not too bad at all so again shoot him and then you can see the cutscene again I, I think it, it kind of annoys me seeing the cutscenes again because I feel like you know just you know just maybe program those out it's kind of like kind of stupid okay so here we go we're gonna take him out the first time there we go, there's there's one. Only two more times to go. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks. So yeah, it's, eh, it's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> so 
So there we go. We're going to hit the sealed spike. I apologize if this is a kind of a boring episode, but there's not a lot to say considering I've already beaten all these bosses before. Yeah, but whatever. So, like, I, I've, I've mentioned this a lot before, but I've reached up to the final set of boss fights. I've done the last dungeon, I've watched the cutscene, and I'm at the save point right before the final set of boss fights. So I've been trying to get these videos out very quickly, and I've been recording a lot of commentary. I recorded, like, 12 episodes yesterday, and I'm planning to see if I can finish recording uh, this set today as well. I think there's nine videos, so I'm planning to record up to well, where I'm basically at gameplay-wise and to catch up, and then I'll, I'll be releasing yeah, so basically a little change in, in uh, the schedule. Uh, I will be releasing the three videos a day for this week, so I, I think that should put me back on track to be done by, like, the end of this week, so so then it'll go back to Tuesday and Thursday, so Tuesday will be the first boss battle, and then the the Thursday will be the last one, and that's really fucking cool, and we're almost done, and just keep moving along, and I really enjoyed it. Again, we're doing the boss boss mode. This is, this is for the second to last heart piece that I need, and for the Highland Shield, and I really, really recommend doing these. It's not necessary at all, but, you know, it extends the game a little bit. It took another half hour, and it's just fun, and that's why you play games, right? <laughs> like, that's why you play games, right? Just because it's fun. <laughs> so, I apologize for how long this boss battle's taken. This is a fairly, it's a fairly long boss battle. This this imprisoned one. I think the third one goes by a lot faster, but uh, and the first one, of course, is like a minute. But uh, whatever. Okay, so here's uh, going to be our third time. Third time's a charm. <clears throat> Oh man! Oh man! Uh, man, I just had something in my throat right there. That was awkward. Just had a really awkward cough. So again, see that pro tip right there? If you you aim the Grusinator correctly, you can hit his feeties, and you can take out like oh like the front of his toe before he even starts moving. So if you if you pro status like that, you can really fucking help. So see so see there? I took out like one of his toes with the the cannonball. So that was really, really well done, and it really helped out because I, I was able to get that whole toe done. And you know what happens when you get a whole toe done? You know, he starts moving a lot slower, and you get a lot more time. Oh, damn, I got hit right there. Damn it. See, I'm, I'm cutting this one a little bit close. He's, he's making a very good... Oh, damn it, and I ran out of stamina. That's rookie mistake, guys. Rookie mistake. So I'm trying to get a, a bit ahead of him. There's still two toes to take out. There we go. And... I really dislike this here because I wanted to get that heart and I thought I was going to be able to but it put me on the the wrong side to get the heart but it put me on the right side to get the ceiling spike so I suppose that was lucky but uh, it just sucked. <laughs> so there we go that's the third battle done or is it yes yeah, the third battle done. <laughs> It gets very confusing fighting the Imprisoned like eight times, but I don't think uh, I have to fight him again in this in this run. So there we go. So so it's three done. So five more left. One more in this video, and I get I get pretty lucky. This next boss battle I get really easy, but we get all those rupees. It's funny because I just spent that eight hundred rupees on the uh, heart piece, but you you make it back like super fast. I think you make 400 rupees just playing through this, just for doing this first time. You don't. I didn't take any of the rupee rewards because it's a waste of time. But you get 400 rupees just by playing through the eight bosses that you haven't played through before. So that's pretty good. And then also, if you play it again, you get rupees for beating your time, which is also good. So here's a, I think Scaldera or whatever this one. So this one is really fucking easy, especially when you have, since we have the upgraded Master Sword. So again, it's just bomb him and throw a bomb in his mouth and then attack his eye. His whispering eye. It's a vagina, I get it. So here we go. And this goes by really fast. <laughs> so, you notice I have like two hearts missing right now. So I'm going to use this time to kind of replenish my store. Because this is a really good area up here. 
because it has all these hearts. So if you're really low on health and you get this boss battle, it's really, really lucky. And just make sure you replenish your hearts before you take them out. But that bad thing about coming up here is that he starts shooting the, that fireball thing at you. So you want to avoid that. If, you, if he shoots fireballs at you, you're going to have a bad time. But it's really easy. This, And I think it only takes like two rounds if you have the with the upgraded Master Sword, which we have in order to do this. You need the upgraded Master Sword. So there we go. Another boom. Boom goes the dynamite. There we go. Finish. A minute and eight seconds. Pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. That's pro status right there. You... That's MLG Skyward Sword, so... You know... Just, just rolling like I give a fuck. Like I give a fuck indeed. So... This dude's done. And then... It's just gonna keep moving along. And we're halfway done with boss rush mode right now. So that's pretty interesting. So let's, we're gonna take our 50 rupees... And we are going to continue along in the next video of doing bosses mode, doing bosses. So before we go, I'm going to show you the little edit of me getting the heart piece right now. This isn't in this particular run through, so don't worry about it. So here it is. Here's the heart piece. Wait for it. Wait for it. Mm, boom goes the dynamite. So we need one more heart piece left, and then we're done. So that about concludes the video, so see you later, guys.